uh, celebrating here with a package I got from a new friend of mine, uh, Rick T. 000 Tom, um, or Rick T for short. Um, he is a great member of the community. I hope you'll go give him a sub. He's got poured silver, he stacks. And um, what led us to the trade is that I saw that he, he um, works with cigar boxes. And I said, hey man, why don't we trade boxes? I'll trade you one of mine for one of yours. And uh, let's, uh, let's see what we can do for each other. And we threw in an ounce of silver just to make the deal a little sweeter for us silver stackers. So we're gonna do an unboxing from Rick T, um, a cigar box. And uh, what he does is he takes these cigar boxes that he finds at uh, Goodwills and whatnot, and he uh, pulls the top out and he puts in some glass or plexiglass, something like that, and he turns them into um, glass-fronted display, display cases. Now, uh, I've been collecting the uh, um, vintage ingots, and I could use a display case for my vintage ingots, uh, and it'd be nice to have something I could see through rather than just um, throwing them in one of my cigar boxes. So uh, that's what this is all about. And here we go. At the end of this, I might even uh, play a little song for you guys. All righty. Styrofoam. Okay, here we go. There's what it looks like in the box. Sorry, you can't see this. I'll get you a wide angle in just a minute. And the best thing about collecting cigar boxes is sometimes you even get to smoke the cigars. Oh, look what he did. Oh man, that's beautiful. That is beautiful. So this is a uh, hand carved uh, Churchill cigar box. Uh, let's see. Uh, product of Nicaragua. I think it's great to uh, be collecting these old wooden cigar boxes. I really don't think they're gonna keep doing these for all that much longer, according to uh, one of the cigar shops that I went into. But uh, there's a beautiful box and he is laying in um, felt and styrofoam of some kind. And it looks like we have got a gift. Well, there's the one ounce. I think that's the ounce for ounce. And it looks like we got a little extra in there too. So let's check her out. Yeah, yeah, that's gonna work good. I think that's plexiglass on top. Yeah, that's not glass, I think that's plexiglass. All right, let me just uh, set that up there and let's get a look at this nice Texas round. Um, was that from uh, Texas Bullion? Is that who makes these? I do not have one, but I have wanted one. I know they do a different, uh, different one every year and I see they're four nine silver, so that is really cool. And this is the 2018 round. I think it's Texas Bullion. Correct me if I'm wrong. That is a beautiful round. Let's go ahead and put that down the CCT slide. Yep, that's a winner. And the next one he said, uh, this was an extra gift he threw in, so looks like a, uh, a half ounce walker round. Um, I think it's a half ounce walk around. Nice, beautiful, shiny. Um, who makes this? Yeah, can't tell, but it's a half ounce. He said he wasn't sure uh, if it was authentic or not, so we're gonna test it on the CCT slide. If you wanna get one of these, contact Mr. Vegeta or CCT, Cyber Curtain Twitcher. Here we go. Yeah, man, that looks real to me. I'm not gonna spend a lot of time worrying about it. It feels real, looks real, slides real. So there you go. So no muss, no fuss. Beautiful display case, cigar box. Whoopsie. Um, and uh, that's gonna look great with my, uh, my ingots in there. So when we get this all set up with uh, my vintage ingots, I'll give you another look. Anyway, Rick, I'd like to thank you for doing the trade. I appreciate it. And uh, I guess we're kindred spirits here working on cigar boxes, but um, I really like what you did with these. That That is a cool idea to, uh, to inlay the plexiglass. Really, really good idea. I'd love to know how you do that. Yeah, I think you said you pull, I think he said he pulls them apart, which, um, man, that sounds hard to pull these apart, but if they're dovetailed like this, maybe uh, maybe it's easier than you think. Yeah, there's like only one joint. Well, there's a couple of joints in the back. 
Okay, well, I'm not sure. I haven't gone that far with my cigar boxes, but I am continuing to uh, work on my boxes. And if you flip over to his channel, you will likely see the unboxing of what we traded. I'll read you the note. It says, uh, greetings, Louie. Thanks once again for doing this trade with me. I appreciate being even a small part of the silver community. I hope you like this display box and the silvers. Rick T. And here's an idea of what uh, it's going to look like with the vintage ingots in it. All right. So it's going to hold uh, quite a few of those 10-ounce ingots. All right. Thanks again, Rick. Appreciate it.